All right, we are back with the next part of this DLC playthrough. Um, let's see, I think, where's Nick? He just walked in here. I don't know where he's going. Dude, you're, come on, you're a robot. You don't need to rest. Let's go. Come with me. I'm going to talk to your brother. Right here. Give me. Hey, Dima. Dima. Wait. Look who I brought. Your friend there. I'd like to speak to him. Yeah, I got a few words I want to say myself. Starting with, who the hell are you? There's Ooh, only this is one good. scent with that kind of face and a mind of his own, and I only see him when I look in a mirror. Nick. It... It can't be you. Don't give me that. What are you trying to pull? I've never <clears throat> seen you before in my life. Please, if you're willing to give me a chance, I can explain. Is this a joke? Do you really know Nick? Let me tell you what I know, and you can judge for yourself. We were prototypes, Nick. The first synths capable of independent thinking and judgment. Keep talking. One of the Institute's experiments had to do with how our brains could process personality. If we could handle individualized feelings and behaviors, I was allowed to develop mine based on experience, but with you, they wanted to try transferring an entire personality into you. It took several attempts before the personality imprint worked. I saw you wake up not knowing who or what you were so many times. I couldn't let them do it to you anymore. We were the only two prototypes they made. I literally saw myself in you. You were my brother, Nick. I helped you escape the Institute. We left together. If I were your brother, I'd remember. That's where you'd be wrong. This happened over a century ago. There's... There's only so much memory that can fit into the prototype brains we have. Ha! Huh. I've heard enough. I think you and I need to talk about this. Maybe not now, though. We'll talk later. This is a lot to take in. Nick, I don't need you to believe me. I'm just glad to see you again. Whenever you're ready, I'll be here. Interesting. All right, let's go over here and see if uh, Nick has anything to say. I'm glad that worked, though. If, if we came back and he just didn't do anything, I'd be pretty bummed. Heads up. Move here. Come here, motherfucker. Stop walking away from me. Hey, Valentine. What? Oh, sorry. Just got my head full of what Dima was talking about. It's a bit of a shock. What do you think he is, really? Family? Before I answer, are you okay? I'll keep. Don't worry. Just need to figure this all out. Hmm. Honestly, I don't know what to think, Nick. Yeah. Guess that makes two of us. I spent a long time wondering if the Institute had made any other prototypes. If I was just a failure, or they gave up just plain got bored. I always thought I was just more of their discarded trash. Never thought of the possibility that someone wanted me out. Helped me escape. There's got to be some kind of proof out there. What really happened between me and Dima? I'd appreciate it if we could keep an eye out. Actually, I think I already found something inside of Dima's memory. Oh, here we go. Take a listen. All right. Let me run this real quick. God. Dima really did help me escape the Institute? I wasn't just tossed out with the garbage. I must have still been in a haze from one of the Institute's experiments on me. Did I really attack him? Did he really knock the daylights out of me and leave me for dead? Damn it. Why can't I remember? Take it easy, Valentine. P 
people forget things. Especially after something traumatic, like what happened between you and Dima. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Well, I wanted proof Dima and I had history, and I got it. Now I just gotta figure out what to do. Should I give him a chance? Try to accept him as my brother? He might just be the only other prototype synth that exists. I think you'd regret it if you didn't try to get to know him better. You're right. Maybe next time we swing by Acadia, I'll try to be a little nicer to the old synth. Try to make up for lost time. Thanks, by the way. I wouldn't know the truth without you. That's why I went back and got ya. I love that. Uh, well, let's see. Let's talk to him again Dima, right now. Let's hope that Martin's refuge turns up something useful. Now, what did you need? Um, never mind. I guess he's uh, not going to talk to him until later. So let's go get his stuff while we have the chance. That was cool, though. It was fun to kind of see him, watch him go back and forth and just wonder what they were going to say to each other. Let me ask you something. Sure. Is something wrong? Well, I, I sort of had the same question. It's just, uh, with everything that's happened with you and your, your family, it's a whole hell of a lot to process. I wanted to make sure you're holding up all right. Oh, I forgot. I never talked to him after I found my son. Yeah. I'm all right. Huh. You're a tougher nut than I thought. Tougher than I was. Took me a long damn time to get a feel for this place. Thank goodness I found Diamond City. It's got its flaws, sure, but it beats the hell out of anywhere else in the Commonwealth. Of course, when I took up there back when, people were just as scared of the Institute as they are now. Maybe more. The massacre of the CPG was still pretty fresh in people's minds at that point. Folks were still losing sleep over the broken mask. Plenty of people assumed I was just a saboteur, moving in to melt down the reactor or poison the drinking water. But at the time, they couldn't exactly turn me away. Why'd they let you in? Because I'd rescued the mayor's daughter. Gal of about 15. Pride and joy of the mayor back then. Man by the name of Henry Roberts. The young Miss Roberts decided she'd run off with some caravan hand she'd, uh, <clears throat> known for an evening. Turns out the guy was part of a gang of kidnappers. I didn't even know who I was rescuing, just stumbled on a crying girl in four tufts. I took her home and the mayor dubbed me a hero, offered me a place in town. Lots of folks protested and said I was a spy, but he wouldn't have it. Taking up in the city was tricky at first, but I never tried to hide what I was, and people seemed to warm to that. Was it hard settling in? Yeah, they sure didn't make it easy. I started off doing the jobs no one else wanted. I got more banged up being Diamond City's handyman than I ever did living out in the ruins. But I guess folks never forgot I rescued the mayor's daughter, so they started coming to me when people went missing. Wife runs off with a new paramour and takes the rent money with her? Talk to the synth. An upset father decides moving him and the kids to good neighbor in the dead of night's not the worst damn idea since the bomb? Go get Nick. After a while, the jobs got so backed up, they didn't even ask me to do the handyman stuff anymore. Hell, I was so <laughs> happy That'll to do it, sense it now. months before I started charging anyone. I never stopped being Nick the synth. But it was Nick the detective folks came to see. It was about then that things, uh, well, things finally started feeling normal. It took me a long time to realize that home is where you make it. And with some time and effort, this place can be home for you, too. That's a long story, but I hope it helps. Want to get moving? Sure. Well, it all makes sense now about how we became a detective. Yeah, it's time to go get the hollow tapes. Just quick, quickly teleport on over to Adam Spring. 
run right over there. Just seeing this reminds me of how Dogmeat has that armor I got him, but he, I don't know, I mean, it's not that he won't wear it, but when he does, it doesn't pop up. It used to be on him just fine, and I could see it. He has the heavy dog armor and then the helmet, but for some reason, the heavy dog armor is not showing up on him anymore. It looks like he's not wearing anything. It's really weird. All right, looks like we got to cross this way. Can't hear you, Nick. Just running off in this foggy. I really like. There's tons of detail in this environment, though. Like just plants everywhere. The fog, the lighting. It's just crazy awesome. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Just wish I wasn't walking through a giant rad storm. So hope I don't run into any unfavorable creatures. Except this looks like where I was before, maybe? Oh no, never mind. These holotapes are in the truck. Okay. There's a door I have to go into? For what? Oh, it's in here. Look at that. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> dang, talk about a caps explosion. The water went up and everything. Oh, the army he gave me before was a synth chess piece. Okay. Makes sense now. God, I'm overcomered already. Nick, guess what, buddy? You're wearing this. I wonder if I make him wear it, if it'll make him take off everything else he's wearing. Oh, I can't make him wear anything? Oh, well, I guess I can. That's weird. Yeah, he won't wear any armor. Maybe it's because, oh, you know what, his insides are probably so worn out that there's nothing in there. Except, whoa, he has hands all of a sudden. What in the hell? Okay, whatever. I'm not going to pretend I understand that. Just get in here, find the stuff, and get out. Oh, good. Thank you for coming so quickly. I heard about the execution. I can't believe they killed your missionary, Martin. I'm sorry. Brother Andrews, a good soul. The fault is mine. If I'd realized things had become so tense in Far Harbor, I would have never let him leave. They blame us for the fog overrunning the town, Dima. And now, the children. It's Tectus. He won't listen. He wants to prepare for war. Do you believe the others will follow him? Time was. I would have laughed at such a notion, but now... Andrews was beloved by many. It's brought out the worst in them. Fury, hate. It was tolerable when it was just Tectus. Dima, something must be done. Exile? Exodus. I think it's time you and I convinced the citizens of Far Harbor to leave. You can't be sick. You know I'm as sorry well as Mark, I. But no. They're not meant for this they place. They have as much right to what be here as you do. thicker every year. Right. This place is trying to kill them. And now my people are at my throat because of the mess you created by allowing them to stay. And if you can't recognize that, then I suppose there's no reason for you to be here. I think you should what go. What is that? Martin, please. This can be solved in other ways. Get out! Very well. We'll talk again when you come to your senses. 
Interesting. Sister Brandon Kennedy has been listening. Nurse discussing back and forth around her, the gifts of the island of Adam's blessing of the messenger seen by her brothers and sisters of the family that Adam has granted her. They seem to calm her finally, and she returned to bed. But now dawn comes, and her questions still linger, raise doubts that I have ignored for some time now, and I'm left with my own question. It's perhaps Gwyneth wiser than she knows. Maybe. I have to say, I'm surprised. Oh, I thought that was going to play through the loading screen. Guess not. Hopefully it keeps playing when uh, uh, we get back to the surface. I had assumed you and your there it followers goes. would be more adamantly hunting for the sub's launch key. I hope we haven't disappointed you too greatly. I'd uh, hate to anger our landlord. I believe I'll survive. But am I mistaken? Does your god not require you die in a nuclear blast? Is that not why you've taken up in the nucleus? It's not a transaction, Dima. Adam requires nothing of us. He has granted us a chance to become something greater. To divide our weak mortal frames and bring life to millions of new worlds. We are simply accepting the opportunity his glow presents, whatever form it may take. So if you found the launch key, you wouldn't use it? That, I don't know. Are you afraid? I'd be mad to say I wasn't, but we've made a home for ourselves here. Friends, a family. A place you belong. Exactly. The nucleus. It is a blessing of the truest order. It would be hard to leave such a gift, even if it is for another. But regardless, the key is lost. So, until Adam sees fit to return it, I dare say you're stuck with us. I believe I'll survive. Interesting indeed. It seems that the last dude who was there wasn't super crazy and he said he was afraid of detonating the nuke and stuff like that. And that if it would actually work or not. Very interesting. Because he's the first, I think, and I can remember of Fallout's history at least since I started playing with the third one. Um, he's the first child of Adam I've ever heard of that actually... Uh, has like, I guess, not doubts, but isn't just fanatically like, yes, detonate it and we can move on, you know, to the afterlife. Like, you know, he kind of has a conscience about it and is worried about it. He's not sure if it's exactly right. Never seen that before, so I thought I think that's pretty cool. All right, let's try and make this. Uh, make him think he's coming back. Build a voice, I guess? A threat? Just gotta get inside. Acadia. And then maybe Nick, maybe this time Nick will talk to uh, Dima. And he'll say some more interesting stuff. Dima, I recovered the tapes from Martin's hideout. Excellent. No, no, no. Talk to him. Go ahead. Keep talking. Alright, here. You know what? Let's go out, come back, start fresh. Let's try that again. I'm not going to talk to him this time. Because I just interrupted his conversation. He was trying to start, and then it messed up mine. And it was just a big mess. So we're going we're gonna to go back and start over again. Alright. Now you guys could have your moment. So, Dima, look. I was hoping we could talk. I didn't want to believe you at first about us being brothers. You don't have to apologize, Nick. 
I know it must have been a shock. Yeah, well, I still don't feel proud of taking it as bad as I did. Maybe we can start over? I'd like that. It's been good to talk to you again. Hmm. Okay. Well, it wasn't as much as I Dima. thought it would be, but I recovered the tapes from Martin's something. hideout. Excellent. Yes. These look like they'll serve. Let me take a listen. Hmm. Good to hear his voice again. Some grim material to work with. There. No pleasure in twisting the words of an old friend. But I believe Martin would understand. This tape should be sufficient to pique the High Confessor's interest in joining you in the command center. But Tectus is nothing if not wary. Earning his trust before approaching should help guarantee this all plays out more smoothly. You'll then have to dispose of the remains. Old maintenance shaft walls were never terribly well maintained. They should be able to serve your needs. Once you're done, return here and we'll send the replacement on his way. Now, are you ready to begin? How should I earn Tectus's trust? Prove your dedication to the family. Help when they ask. Show that the children and Tectus can rely on you. He'll be less likely to suspect one of his favorites. Now, are you ready to set this plan in motion? Uh, How are the preparations coming along with the replacement? The initial stages have gone well. Though the reduced time frame raises some concerns, but he should be ready by the time the deed is done. All right. Um. I guess I'm ready. Oh wait. I still need oh, no. some time. I still need Very time. well. When you're ready to proceed, I'll be waiting. All right. So what he's hinting at, I believe, is that I need to go and do the side quest basically for them. And I wonder how they'll react to Nick Valentine. They shouldn't really care. Um. But I need to do the side quest for them. Otherwise, maybe he'll bring bodyguards into the... I don't know, maybe the place or something like that. Or... I don't know. I don't, I've never obviously played this before. So, I don't know how it'll turn out. But, but what he's saying is... If you don't do the side missions first and like get him to trust you... Then there's a lot higher chances that something could go wrong. I don't know what they would have in place that could make it go wrong. But it sounds like we definitely want to try and please them at least a little bit with a few side quests first before we do anything else. I wish the stove in my house looked like that. That'd be nice. Very homey looking. It almost looks like Skyrim right there. Besides the whole, you know, oven, stove, grill part. It's a little deadly out here right now. Let's see if there's any quests up here. Oh, nope, just a box. Pulse mine, take that. This guy. Did you hear that? This hmm. guy. I guess it was no. Nothing. Do not pick my head. But I hope it was nothing. If it's a, some kind of Islander death claw. Fuck. Like that one I walked into when I went to uh, wherever that one settlement was. Just freaking alpha death claw, like just waiting around the corner for me. All right. So I know there's at least one because this was the quest right here was to. Help what's her face fix that, which would be cool. This dude over here, the zealot guy, had a quest. Have you finished your prayers already? Uh yeah. Um Oh, you know what? Probably not. Let's see if there's something down here. Torpedo tubes looks like, yeah. Let's 
thing is freaking massive. You know what? I bet there's something special at the bottom end of this. More torpedo tubes. Alright. Rads are getting pretty bad, so... We're gonna favorite that just right here for now, just so I can see how... Oh, shit. Okay, so it's bad, but it's not horrible. People who were working down here. The bombs fell. Yeah, there's nothing down here besides a bunch of skeletons. Come on. Where's the reward for the players who are willing to explore and venture out? Not even like a couple caps or anything. Come on, Bethesda. I swim in this, kind of dive down in it. Ah, I can drink it, hell no. So I guess I thought this was just like liquid radiation over here, but I guess it's just really bad water. Surprise, these steel beams have held up over the years. Oh, something over here? Nope, just more water. Dang. No, oh, damn it. Lame. Totally bummed. That something like if I had made a game like this, I would totally put some kind of at least small reward nodding that the player took the time to go down there and look for stuff. Is that nope, that's not him. What is he Oh man. Oh, he's using that radiation gun, I think. I still need one of those. Alrighty. Um, where's that zealot guy? Pardon me. Glory to Adam, brother. You must be the one Maybe she has something. to the spring. Don't appear you turned into a slobbering goon. So I'm guessing you had a favorable experience. What visions did Holy Adam bless you with? A woman. She guided me to a small shrine. The Grand Zealot said she was called the Mother of the Fog. What? <laughs> you saw the Mother of the... Oh, look at her eyes, How like, did... bugging this out. This is not our place to question the ways of Adam. If there is anything I or the other Zealots Jeez, can do she's to still her, cracked out. all you need to do is ask. What are your duties here? I am the Grand Zealot Second. It is my job to ensure the Zealots are fit for the conflict to come. Against all those who offend Adam. Nothing for now. Remain vigilant, brother. I wonder. She's probably not a follower, but that would be interesting. Nope, child. If you're heading inside the vessel, Zealot. Just stay out of Sister Olbear's way. Sis sister, whatever. Big uh, shop so owner. Send someone to their maker. Uh, so, 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 so. I am, but uh, not from your supplies. Alright, come on, this guy's gotta be around here somewhere. This is his high what the Adam heck? purifies us from sin. Adam guards our souls from darkness. Wait, you you saw the mother of the fog? I did. Adam yep. must be watching over you. Yep. Totally is. Should the give me all your future course. Word is the word there he is. Excuse me, Grand Zealot. Finally ready to fulfill your responsibility to Adam? I still have a job I need done. What kind of job? A matter of heresy that needs to be dealt with. I knew it. I'm ready to serve, Grand Zealot. There is a woman, one of our own. Or she was. Gwyneth. But she's given herself over to something... dark. The Confessor ordered Zealot Thiel to track her down, but the heretic eluded her. Now Gwyneth has begun profaning our holy sites with her mad ravings, openly flouting the word of Adam. The High Confessor wants her found and executed. Hmm. We can't try talking to her. 
maybe she'll see reason. Won't lie. Sister Gwyneth was a good woman. But whatever's driven her to this lunacy, I'm not sure how much it's left behind. Regardless, the High Confessors decided her abandonment of Adam's too great a sin. The refusal of his grace can't be permitted. All right, I'll I guess I'll look for it. Maybe Good. I can find a way. Speak to Zealot Thiel. She should Adam be able to point you towards Gwyneth's trail. Bring Adam's judgment to the heretic. Now go. Now go. All right, Valentine. You heard what we gotta do. We're gonna go do it. We're gonna find Thiel. We're gonna track down this girl. And I will see you guys there when we do it in the next part of this playthrough. That old robot living in your...